Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Sales Funnel Ninja to work with Traffic Wave Autoresponder. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to trafficwave.net and log into your back office. And with Traffic Wave, things work a little bit differently than they do at AWeber or GetResponse. So uh, I suggest that you you create a new list specifically for use with your Sales Funnel Ninja software uh, squeeze page that it generates. So in order to do that, you need to click on Campaign Manager. Uh, Traffic Wave calls a calls a list a campaign, uh, much like Get Response. And so now that you're here, you can just click over here and create a new campaign over on the left. You can see I clicked this button that was right here, and you can go through all of this. Uh, it's 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 all straightforward. I won't make you watch me do that. So after you, but after you've created your campaign, let's go back here. And I'll just use one I've already got set up. Uh, select the campaign that you created. Let's just create this. Uh, uh, let's just use the default one here. And what you're going to do is first thing is you need to click on landing URLs. And these are the and this is where you're going to set it up to work with Sales Funnel. Ninja, uh, your squeeze page, okay? And the first thing here it says subscription landing URL. As this is it says page redirection occurs after initial subscription form data is submitted. And this means that after they opt in, this is the page that they'll see. So after they opt in, the first thing they see is whatever URL that you put here. Now, since Traffic Wave requires double opt in, you're going to want this to be a confirmation page. So if you have a confirmation page you can put that you've set up, then you can put that URL in there, in here. If not, you can leave it blank, and Traffic Wave will just show their default uh, pages. It tells the subscriber that they need to go to their email and confirm. Now the second one here is the one that we're really concerned about, and that's the confirmation landing URL. And the reason we're concerned with this is because this is where we're going to set it up to work with the redirect that the Sales Funnel Ninja software creates. So in this case, what you would do is you want to put the website that you downloaded it to, or the location. In this case, I've got mine at cobrat.com forward slash demo slash redirect dot html. So if you didn't, oh, I misspelled it. If you didn't uh, change the name of the redirect to something else, then it's going to be redirect dot html, and then it's going to be in whatever folder or wherever you put it on on your server. So if you do it the way that I suggest, and you're going to have it in a folder, so it's going to be your domain, the fo your folder, and then redirect.html. And so uh, when you do it this way, all you have to do now is just click update landing URLs, and it's set. And so now what will happen is after they opt in, they'll see my confirmation page that tells them that they need to check their email, or you can leave this blank you don't have a, a confirmation page and, it, and it'll show the default one the default traffic wave confirmation page and then once they go to their email and they confirm it'll show them the redirect so uh, after they confirm their email it'll say they'll see the redirect that says you know check your e for an email from Kobe and you'll be showing your video in you know then the countdown that goes 10 9 8 7 all the way to 1 and then it says you know of course do not close this page and so after the the countdown goes to 0 they're going to re be redirected through your affiliate link to whatever page that you want them to re be directed to. So in my case, I send them to my coaching site at myinternetmarketingcoaches.com. But you can send them to uh, a download page, to an aff any affiliate video that, you know, just make sure you use your affiliate link. You know, you can set it up any way you want. But the important thing to remember is that you need to put your redirect URL in the confirmation landing URL box. Okay, and that's how you set up Sales Funnel Ninja to work with Traffic Wave. If you're not yet a member of Traffic Wave, then it's a really great autoresponder. They have pretty good deliverability. Now, the coolest part about them is they have a flat rate, so they it's it's a one-time fee of eighteen dollars a month, and it never goes up no matter how many subscribers you add. So if you want to check them out, go to www.gokobe.com forward slash Traffic Wave. Alright, that's all I got for you in this video. This is Kobe from KobeRout.com signing off.